If I had to start with anything, and this is always on my heart, but this idea of Jesus and God being a man is something that I cannot, I don't use the term can't stand, but I really can't deal with that. It's just so much lunacy in that, in that concept to me. And let's just talk about it for a brief minute. I won't take too, too much of your time today. But, okay, Jesus made, as the story goes, the heavens, the earths, the moons, the stars, the rivers, the butterflies, the bees, the sun, the sky, the moon, etc., etc., etc. And then he made his prized possession, Adam, the man. Adam was to be the man to have dominion over all of this beautiful creation that the good Lord, God, Jesus, however you describe it, has made, right? Okay, the man, as the story goes, was bored. He said, man, I'm bored down here. There's nothing to do. I need somebody to kick it with, to hang out with. No problem, says the Lord. While you're sleeping at night, I'm going to take from you a rib, and from your rib, I'm going to create you a, and this word is a word that's only used in biblical terms, a helpmate. Let's put he said he's going to create him a help helpmate, so he does. Eve would be her name, and she's a woman. And just from a rib, he made her. Now, here's right there where I have to stop the story and call a throw a flag on the play. Right there, flag on the play. Okay, first of all, from the woman's body, the, the female anatomy, the anatomy of a female's body, of any species, is much more complex and complicated than a man's body. Because women can bear children, of course, and feed the children, and grow the children, and deliver the children. Their bones have to move for the baby to come out. It's an amazing work of technology that's far more superior to the man's body, anatomy-wise. So if I were creating something, it seems that I would, uh, maybe it is a concept of save the best for last, which could be the case, but it seems like the more complicated one, and in this case, in the case of this story, let's make it really make sense. If God made all of this stuff with trees and he made seeds, and trees would grow and all of this vegetation would last forever then why wouldn't he think of the of the being of the human that can carry the seed that's the first thing you have to think of you made this beautiful land earth oceans rivers mountains butterflies and bees and you said you're gonna have adam come and live and die and it's all over with the story's over turn to turn thanks for coming out roll the credits that doesn't make any sense this this has been around for millions of years so why on earth wouldn't you create the being that can make other beings first or at least have that as an initial thought and not an afterthought? Why did Adam have to remind you that he needs a helpmate, their favorite word? Why would Adam have to remind you of that? That should, be, that should have been thought of much earlier on for, for anything to make sense to me, right? So... If anybody, please in the comments, please correct me if I'm wrong or, or explain, explain why, this, why, why this is. I would love to hear what somebody has to say about that. But in my opinion, it's a no-brainer that the woman would have been thought of first or at least at the same time. Same, same time. Same, same, like they say in Thailand. If that were the case, then would did all species, because he made all these other animals too, that were in the Garden of Eden or wherever they were, um, allegedly. So he made all of these animals too, so that they had to go back and say, damn, I gotta go back and make a female deer, I gotta make a female tiger, female lion, female dog, female cat, because obviously gods didn't think of females. To me, this is what the story screams, and that brings me to my larger point. That might be the title of this video, God don't like females. According to modern day religion, God don't like females because why did he have that as an afterthought? Why all that technology as an afterthought? Why all these books of the Bible? Maybe one or two women's books, right? Ruth and Esther is all that I know. And I'm not a biblical, I'm not a Bible thumper, so to speak, or I don't know it that well. I don't know my word as uh, the Christians might say, but 
I know it makes sense, man. I know something that makes logical sense. And to me, it makes much more logical sense if I were creating a universe that was going to go on and on forever, the first thing I have to think of is who's going to, how is it going to go on and on forever? Adam couldn't reproduce by himself. So why would he make this dude by himself to hang out in the garden by his own, by himself? It doesn't make any sense. And I've been saying this for so many years. I've been saying this for years and people just say, you can't think like God or this is the way they trick. This is the way they fool in my opinion, I should say, this is the way they fool Christians into saying, don't question God. Uh, don't, you know, like you're not supposed to think. I'm thinking God gave me a brain, man. How come all the pictures, they are pale white as snow on the pictures? This is something I've said too for not as many years, but if the picture is all messed up like that, people always say, oh, they was, in, uh, they was dark people, or people of color. Of course they were dark people, or people of color and all of that, but how come it's not depicted that way? I haven't seen very few pictures depicted that way. And if it is, it's a black Jesus. It's not Jesus, it's a black Jesus or whatever. So anyway, I think this is really stuff that we need to think about and, exp and explore, consider. And if it doesn't make sense, man, if somebody can tell you a story that doesn't make sense, and I'll close with this. Here's the worst thing about a liar. You never know when they lie. And if they're willing to lie about one thing, you almost have to lie about another thing to make the first lie make sense, right? So I'm showing you in the first, the very, this is the first story, the initial story of the Bible, the opening scene. And this don't make no sense at all. Somebody didn't mess with this. This story can't be right. So if that's the case, how could any of it be right? How can I put my faith in any of it if it starts off with this, that doesn't make sense to me. And remember that it's God that gives me my good sense and uh, logic and sense of reasoning. And so I'm gonna close with that, like I promised. But so this has been your boy Ray Stone with just a random talk and we are gonna come back in with random part, talk number two. So I'll talk to you soon. Peace and love. Have a beautiful, beautiful evening. leave you with a sight.